Hello everyone, my name is George and as you may know in Photoshop we have many different ways when it comes to removing a background but by far the most popular way is definitely the remove button right here. This is a one click background remover and 90% of the time it does a really good job on removing that background. However, you do have the odd time when it comes to more complex images or images that have smaller details and ones that have a person and an object. It tends to struggle when it comes to these areas. As you can see, we have part of the wheel missing. We have certain areas that are actually supposed to be cut out right here, but they are way too small to even be detected. We also have missing parts and the hair is a little bit thin right here. It still looks okay, but it could look better. If you want to use the new feature, what you'll have to do is you'll have to first of all, close this down. You want to close your Photoshop down and we're going to go down to the Creative Cloud, open this up, go to Apps, Beta Apps, and you just want to go ahead and install Photoshop Beta. You will need to have this installed because this isn't fully released on the official Photoshop version. Once you've got it installed, go ahead and open this up. Same as before, we're just going to open up the image. And now what you want to do is you want to go up to edit, go down to the bottom to preferences and open image processing. You want to set the select subject and remove background to cloud. This will enable the new feature. You want to go ahead and press OK. And you may need to restart your Photoshop, the changes to apply. But once you've got back into Photoshop, make sure it's Photoshop beta. And now if we remove the background, you will see within a few seconds, this will automatically remove the background. And as you can see, the results are so much better compared to before. We have all of the small details right here, which have been included. We have this area, this one right here. You can also preview the mask itself. And as you can see, the results are nice and sharp. They are accurate and they match the motorcycle itself. If you wanted to, you can also expand this image. So if we use the crop tool by holding Alt and Shift, you can expand this. Go ahead and go to Generative Expand and then press Generate. By the results, some of them are a little bit odd. I would say the best one is definitely the first. It's still a little bit rough here and certain areas, but we're just going to enhance the details. And then if you minimize this, we can hold shift, click on the bottom one, right click and convert it to a smart object. And now once again, we're just going to remove background. And there we have it. Like I said before, everything is nice and sharp. You may still have the odd, really small detail like this one, for example, which is slightly faded. You can see it's being removed, but not 100%. If you want to correct this, that's completely fine. You can use the polygonal lasso tool and just manually edit this little small detail. We can just connect it up by using the brush tool on a black color. We can fill this in and make it transparent. But other than that, you can see it has done a really good job. Even the hair has nice, good detail. We have the person, we have everything included. This is the before and after. Now this got me thinking, how powerful is this feature and what is its limits? So I had the idea of print it to the test and I used this type of image. You can see this one is even more complex because we have really small details but mainly the glass in the background right here. So if we remove the background now and wait for it to do its thing, you can see it's done a fairly good job on removing majority of the background. The areas that it struggled with is of course the glass itself because it doesn't yet know that this needs to be removed. And also parts of the car or underneath the car, it got confused. It's not sure if it should include this or if it should remove it. Like I said before, it's always a quick, easy fix. We can just use the polygonal lasso tool and just quickly and easily edit this out. Getting ourselves a nice, quick selection and then connect it up. 
we can use the brush tool, increase the brush with the square bracket, and then just fill this in. And there we go. That is cleaner result right here. But yeah, that is honestly absolutely incredible. This is just the early stages. So just imagine what this feature can do later on as they improve it and make it even better. As someone who has been using Photoshop for so long and manually doing things, this is honestly blowing my mind when I saw the results. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think of this video, if you have tried this feature, what you think of it. And as always, I will see you all in our next video. Bye.